Oh, oh. She just kicked on. This thing's so freaking awesome. Got it set for 72, so whenever it drops or goes up above 72, it clicks back on. You can hear it running right now. It is nice in here. It's like almost 80 degrees outside. Which actually, it's still pretty comfy outside, but in here, it's like, it's, it's perfect. Anyways, um, we're going to work on the Honda. I think what we're going to do is we're going to change the oil. Um, I bought some new Torx bits, so I need that to get the bumper off the Honda. So I think we're going to rip into the Honda today. I know somebody's going to look at this bench and go, oh, you got so much clutter and blah. I know, fuck off. I'm working on organizing it. I had to build another one of these. And then I gotta organize this. Consolidate it, you know, if anybody I got I got parts. Anyway, this is a Sunday evening. Look at it, it's just a beautiful day out today. It's about 78 degrees. People are out doing stuff, mowing yards. I went and fixed an explorer today and got it running because I know explorers in and out. And now we're working on the Honda. Which has some issues, but we're not really fixing issues. We're doing, uh, my friend, when I bought it from him, he left me with fresh oil that's brand new, never been opened, and a filter for this car. And then I ordered those headlights. The, that actually came with a kit with the uh, grill. Um, yeah, I got rid of the, well, I got the Honda one back here. I'm, I'm now I have, now have, blah, 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 we'll have a Honda parts section at some point so we'll have Honda and Ford truck stuff such a weird combination um, so I want to get those on I tried doing a video of taking the old headlights out but I did not realize that you had to remove the entire bumper in fact the bumper comes off and then you got to remove the freaking core support thing that's behind it so we're just gonna tear into the son of a bitch all right tubers Get the hood popped on us. The thing that's nice about this Honda, well, it's a car. So, it's easy for me to pull it into the garage and work on it. So if it's pouring down right now, I can roll it in here and we can be all nice and cozy. Working on our snazzy little lawnmower here. Um, I, I, so I know it's a Honda and I know it's a lawnmower, but it's actually a really good car. I bought it because it was cheap. Um, got it for 500 bucks. That truck right there, I paid 500 bucks for it. Um, although I probably put about six to seven grand into it, but because uh, uh, it was a 351 C6 automatic, two wheel drive, just kind of a crappy truck, and then I've turned it into a four wheel drive, solid axle. 4BT Cummins, 5-speed manual truck, and it's been freaking awesome. I'm going to say it's up and ups and downs, but um, I've, I've worked past those issues, and uh, it's, been, it's been treating me right. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, we got a power steering leak. Um, it's a small leak, it's a small seep, so probably what will end up happening, I'll just get a whole new pump for it. Um, very easy to replace on this, so um, that'll probably get done. I don't know when I'll order that, but I know I need to do a water pump on this, so we're going to do a timing belt, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, you know, it needs a, it's got a little few things here and there. I'm just standing here drinking beer. I like drinking beer when it's warm out. I can't stand drinking beer when it's cold. I just, I get headaches. So, this grill was pretty easy to put on. The only thing I don't like about this grill is they don't have any um, extra uh, posts that click into the headlights. So um, that's the downfall from this. You could put maybe like a rubber bumper under here and keep it from flopping around too much. Um, so yeah, the first thing I want to do, I want to jack this thing up and get it up on stand. So I'm actually going to put the e-brake on. The whole exhaust system on this car, it's... It's just, it's it's just old. That's all it is. 
I've got 129,000 miles on this car. My Explorer had better exhaust than this. So, let's take a look at what we have going on under here. Uh, it's the first time I've had time to really look at this. Okay, so... We have an oil link, maybe, to an oil pan gasket. CV boots are good. We got... that is is that like bent I'm looking right at that tie rod end it looks like it's bent a little bit <coughs> well, here's a shift cable for the transmission that's probably right where it's leaking yeah Interesting. Structurally, all this looks good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That one's straight, and the other one looked bent. Changing the oil in these transmissions are so easy. Just pull that plug. Let's see, this is going to be hilarious if it works. <clears throat> That's pretty loose. I have like no wrenches anymore. I don't know what happened to my wrenches. They just kind of disappeared when I moved here. <clears throat> okay. mess around with tiny dream pans anymore. I don't know how many miles we're on that oil change, but uh, I don't care. <clears throat> Put fresh oil in. I think I want to pull the oil filter off too. <sighs> Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Just pulled it and add them. There we go. All right, I'm back, I'm back. Oh God, there it is. At least the oil filter is easy to get to. I hate that, like Chevy Cavaliers, they, they, they put it in some messed up spot and just, you can't get to it. You're like, really? I try to do how to videos, but playing it around with just working on a project just doesn't work with my channel. It's not, it's not how I roll, I, unfortunately. I, I'm like, you know, Bill's T-Max. Oh damn it, I'm out of beer. I'm gonna grab another one. Well guys, crew cab is for sale. I'm just gonna come in and say, let's say it, uh, the 4BT crew cab that Adam has. He's selling it because he's... Because reasons. Just because. He has to go. So, it is for sale. You can contact me at Johnson's Garage. Or just leave a post. Or you can find me on Facebook. I don't know. We probably won't sell it to YouTubers unless somebody really wants it. I'm going to partially fill this just so to kind of saturate the, the pleats a little bit. Because otherwise this goes on sideways and... Um, Goes on sideways and then, you know, freaking. Uh, yep, just made a. 
gonna be a mess. If you fill it all the way to the brim and then it's like half it spills out. There it goes, it already spilled out. Hand tight. I should put a drain valve on this thing. Pretty gross for a uh, for a car, for a gasoline engine. I'm gonna dump it into my receptacle. Before we get too carried away, let's fill it up with oil and get it fired up. We might need to get a new 710 cap. No. And who knows if they replaced the timing belt? So that's gonna be something I'm going to do. And even if the belt looks good, it's still all going to get done because, well, you already got to be in there, so. It'll be fun. I actually don't know how many cores. I know on my truck I just put, I just put two of these in. Oh, my fingers are so sore. One quart. There is one quart in here. We're not too high off the ground, so we probably start the vehicle and run it for about 30 seconds. We'll shut it off and then we'll check the oil level. Right now I can tell you, I definitely want to do control arms on this. The boots here are cracked, the, the grease is coming out, it's drying up. Let's go check the driver's side. Yeah, this side is definitely towed, and I might. Just a little bit. Just a little bit there. Okay, for both sides. We need front end bearings. That's interesting. Look how bald the tires are. Okay, so. I want to get the headlights out, but in order to do that, I have to pull the bumper off. It's stupid. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the grill off. I'm going to set these right here on the ground. This kind of comes up off like that. The factory grill is a bit different. It's clipped in all stupid right in here. Pain in the ass to get out. I might have to go find my charger for the camera here. So we got a 10 mil. We're going to 
gonna start getting my headlights out. I'm just setting my hardware area in one spot. There's also a little fastener down there. And then something here. There's also another hidden fastener. Get to that in a moment. Right here, there's a hidden screw. You need to undo that. You can even just push that back a little bit. And there's our hidden bolt right there. Oh, you really? You're gonna be a cock block? What the hell? Get the hell out of there. There's a different screw on this side. So, and then. So once it comes off this little mount there, then you'd be like, all right, I got this. So I think we got 10 mils all the way around, holding the bottom of the bumper skin on. So I'm just going to take those all off and then move the headlights around and try and get the other fasteners. This is ready to come off. This bit here. This clips in. So the only thing holding it on now. So I saw in a video where a guy had that corner light out. And all these bulbs are almost burnt out. Are these 194s? I bet you those bulbs have never been replaced. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going back on. Look away, tubes. Alright. Can we get this bumper off here? There's a stone. Let me just cut rid of you. Going to the junkyard for some bits for this thing. Luckily, there is a bunch of these. There's more of these than there are explorers in the junkyard. Well, I don't have it anymore. It's got this, this, I don't know, what the hell is this? Whatever it is, the rubber's gone. So, I'm trying to figure out why the AC stopped working and this hose broke off of the uh, accumulator. So I'm just going to get a new accumulator and a new one of these, which is not only are bolted down, so I'm going to have to find some bolts that will fit it. Probably just go to the junkyard and get another, just take apart another Honda. Here's a power steering cooler. The horns, I have an idea for the horns. That's beside the point. These guys now come out. So we'll start that corner light in first. 
that in under there. Get that in and then. Let's get a couple of bolts. Beer. I can tell this is looking better already. Dude. Ho, 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 ho. All right, guys. I got to put you on the charger. Um, I'm going to keep tinkering around with this. Um, I'll update you when the battery's charged. All right, tubes. I'm about two and a half beers in at this point. Well, I mean, from when you last saw the everything off to now, yeah. Um, so I uh, fixed the plugs on both sides. These are the turn signals. Then on the corners you have running lights. These two are burnt out. Which is fine, so we'll, uh, how we do it now, but I can't. Um, I don't know how well green LEDs would work in this, because you have amber and then green. Otherwise, I have the bulbs we could put in there. But I think what I'm going to do is go and get a couple packs of white LEDs. Um, and then toss those in there um, as well as for the other side those two work this side is not um, and then I broke the low beam and then I figured oh I'll just try anyways yeah it burnt up and then left a slight haze in the passenger side so that's just fantastic but uh, I've already got them in, so I tried blowing it out with air. Didn't do nothing. So just want to see how it would look with the grill on there too. I like this grill. It looks pretty good. So I need to put it. We got four of these. Um, I'll probably when I, I gotta take the corner lights out later to put new bulbs in. When I do that, I'll put these back in. Um, so I'm just gonna snug these down until you hear a plastic crack. <clears throat> Dude, I love it. James said he was gonna call me on. Oh yeah, he called me. Oops. I think that's going to be it for this video. I think we're kind of done. I got the two corner bolts I got to do. I'll do that here in a moment. But, uh, I like it. That looks, that looks good. It matches now. Let's oh, yeah. That looks great. That looks way better. So I'll go get new bulbs for it. I'm gonna get new, uh, I think I'll just get new low beams for now. The high beams are really good. Get new low beams. I'm gonna get some LED 194s for the corner lights. And turn signal bulbs are good for now. I'll do that some other time. But I think we're good. I like it. 